It was the night before Christmas and all through the palace. Not a creature was stirring, not even dick butt that old phallus. The controllers were wrapped by the consoles with care, in the hope that the Nintendo Switch would soon be there. The crew was all drunk and passed out in their beds, with visions of Goombas being stomped in their heads. When down in the basement there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Down to the chairs where they normally sit, there were five Christmas movies, each one of them shit. There was Grumpy Cat's Worst Christmas Ever, starring Aubrey Plaza, oh isn't that casting clever. Chasing the cat, in came the dogs with the oh-so-adorable Santa Paws. Next up came the conservative Christian movie Last Ounce of Courage, which is probably great if you think only straight should have marriage. Fourth on the list was the Christmas Horror Elves. It has neo-Nazis and Hitler. I'm not gonna rhyme here, cause like, seriously, who makes this shit up? <clears throat> and then last but not least was Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny. With a 1.3 on IMDb, this movie's so bad it has to be funny. The bananas were in for quite the fright when they see the five movies they'd have to watch in one night. Hey all you people, hey all you people, hey all you people, won't you listen to us? We just watched a movie, a very bad movie, a movie called Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny. It's a piece of shit. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was the worst thing to ever be really put into video ever. ever there is nothing worse find me something you think is worse grandma porn whatever i would rather watch it than this yeah i honestly would too i would totally watch grandma porn over this so this movie is like not even a real movie and then in the middle of it there's an entirely different movie that's also barely a movie and it's all garbage and it doesn't make any sense it's, why did we watch this i don't know it was such a bad movie the whole oh my uh, god it was terrible it has a 1.3 on imdb out of 10 that's out of 10. it's the lowest rated movie i've ever seen here we go i guess <laughs> This is already the worst movie. I'm only slightly refreshed and we're being thrown back into this hellhole. So first of all, why is she hammering on that monkey? Why are you hammering a stuffed monkey? You could have at least gotten her a toy that required hammering. There are- these are elves and it's summer outside and what is going on? What kind on? of North Pole is this? <laughs> what? What the fuck? And then those blurry things in the back there are supposed to be reindeer. Oh, is that what they are? Thousands of miles from the North Pole, way down in Florida. Why is Santa in Florida? Why is this woman trying to seduce me? Why was there no snow in the North Pole? Why is any of this happening already? What are you doing down in Florida, Santa? <laughs> this close to the holidays? Irresponsible. That's kind of the theme, right? Santa is an irresponsible employee. He just takes vacations at horrible times, goes to New York, Florida. Gives drugs to kids. What? Well, he gave a coin to oh, a kid. Oh, yeah. It looked like drugs. It, it looked like, like illicit drugs. substances in you the middle of them all. a terrible mind is what happened. <laughs> oh, woe is me. Oh, woe is me. Who will set old Santa free? Is he singing? Is he rapping? No, really. Someone, please tell me what the hell he's doing. What's with the hand thing? What are you doing, Santa? Is that like a tick? It must be. I think he's trying to like direct the music, but it's not really working because Would I do what I'm singing. Yeah, me too. Every drop time top. I drive. Crop top. Brain drop. Drop top. Drop top. Smoking on cooking the hot box. Cooking. Fucking on your bitch. Yeah, that, that, that. This is also a really young, skinny Santa. He is. And he's also really tired all the time. Oh, I'm so tired. Santa's got narcolepsy. That's a serious condition. Someone in a sleigh who travels around the world should not have narcolepsy. <gasps> then we cut to this weird montage of Santa psychically singing to all the children, pleading for help, and they all weirdly stop what they're doing, like playing hula hoop and jumping off the roof, and run to go help Santa. They're helping him move his sleigh. Which is stuck in about one inch deep of sand. They didn't even try to bury the sleigh. It's not like they, you know, buried it deep in the sand. They just got a sleigh out on the beach and they're like, Throw some sand that on works. it. Done. Set's perfect. Are are those kazoos or are they humming or like 
both? Is it both? Oh, what? thank God you hear that too. I thought these movies had finally just broken my sanity. And also Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer are in this movie. The director was filming another movie that day and he just decided to shoehorn this footage into this movie. It sounds like a joke. It's, it's not. actually true. That That is 100% factually accurate. Also, he's not even going anywhere. This kid sucks at paddling. That raccoon is fucking pissed too, dude. He's so not happy. <laughs> Animals may have been harmed in the making of this movie. That's not okay. Or is it? It's you not. decide. <laughs> I hope you decide not. <laughs> These kids look so miserably hot. Like, nobody is enjoying this. I'm not even enjoying this. This I'm movie's awful. I'm definitely not enjoying we're any like, of this. We're not even in the first ten minutes of this. So then the plot is that all the children bring various farm animals, and one girl brings a gorilla, which is not addressed. No, so we're just going to move on from that. But the gorilla didn't work, so well, let's try a sheep. Yeah, or maybe a horse. You know, you know, eight reindeer couldn't do it. I'm sure one donkey can probably yeah. solve this issue. I'm not even sure this can actually be called a movie. All the farm animals clearly just want to like run away, and they cannot get them to behave. I mean, they just filmed it anyways. We're not even 13 minutes in this movie, and the movie's gone in so far in the wrong direction. I don't even know if I want to finish it. I don't. If a gorilla can't pull it, a sheep can, obviously. That's the should have started with here. the sheep and then built up to the gorilla. Yeah. Like, you you don't just throw out the gorilla first thing. Hey, golly, it is hot. I have never been so hot in my life. Really, Santa, you're in the middle of Florida and you're wearing a giant red fucking coat. Of course it's going to be fucking hot. Also, it's like... It's like the middle of summer. There's no snow. It's nothing. Nothing's going on in relation to Christmas at all. You're just stuck in Florida. Ah! Try to get out. Yep, Santa, maybe you could have done this earlier. Maybe. Oh, and it was totally working. You just gave up way too easily. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful little girl named Thumbelina. And then suddenly, we leave this movie to go to a Thumbelina movie. So this whole Thumbelina bit is based on a fairy tale. If you don't know it, a bad good. one, yeah, dumb it's a, one. It's Ain't, very, very ain't bad no Cinderella, one. that's for sure. It's hell no. And it was filmed for a commercial advertisement for a theme park in Florida called Pirates Cove. Nothing in relation to this movie at all. Santa just leans into these kids and he tells them about this story. And all of a sudden, we're watching Thumbelina, which is an advertisement for Pirates Cove in Florida, by the way, which also doesn't exist anymore. And it's just god awful. It's a fever dream, like. Did you remove my emergency exit gun? Because I need it. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is Thumbelina, but also she's not Thumbelina. She's just the girl looking at the Thumbelina story. And they actually have the audacity to film half of the story through the loudspeakers in the Thumbelina exhibit. Also, they have a Thumbelina exhibit. God damn it, hippie! <laughs> I don't know what I did. This movie took place in the 70s, but it feels more like it took place in an eternity of pain. An eternal purgatory, as it were. Mm -hmm. Hell, a fever dream, Santa's fever dream, my fever dream, the pile of shit. <laughs> I got nothing, that's what this is. It's just a pile of shit. You're just saying mean stuff now, and I still agree with you. <laughs> Who had no luck. All right, this witch five. sings songs because of course she does. It was at this point in the movie that we actually sped up the playing to 1.25, 1.5 because it was so slow. We couldn't continue watching it at the speed, and then when we sped it up, we actually didn't even notice. Yeah. Like, the movie's just so weirdly slow that you can speed it up and you will not notice that you're watching it at a higher speed. Pacing is god awful. And the songs all have like 12 choruses. Stop! This Just stop! Every single song is like four minutes long. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, it's awful. I hate it so much. And all the songs are bad. They're so bad. <laughs> Nothing awkward about this dancing. You say you would like a little girl. This witch sells young girls. And weed, but it's kind of jank shit, so. It's still early. It's early. It's early. Thumbelina's new life was to be threatened by a frog. My mother's getting me a wife. 
Why would the frog want a little girl? I'm not kidnapping baby frogs. Skip over the whole kidnapping thing and just keep moving on, basically. Yeah. We don't really address it very much. Yeah, let's just oh keep no, going. You, you stole me from my home and ruined my life. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. She'll get over it. She'll figure it out. She'll move on. What are these things? What is this movie? I understand, like, there wasn't much in the way of effects in the 70s, but, like, what the hell are these costumes? Cheap, probably. Yeah. <laughs> About as cheap as our Star Wars costumes. <laughs> uh, that might be an insult to our Star Wars costumes. She says she is a human being, but I think she is lying. These are my lines. These are realistic. I am definitely not a robot. Two days later, all is good. Two days after that, winter has set in. This Where bitch is demanding. You're a guest. Learn some manners. Yeah, you can't just be going into people's houses and asking for food and comfort and all this other shit that you want. Come You're on, the man. dumb idiot that was in. sleeping outside. Yeah, you fucking dumb bitch, Thumbelina. A girl cannot decide on those things too quickly. It's a big and cruel world. And unless you have a nice man to take care of you, terrible things can happen. Thanks to the 70s for teaching us a woman's place. Yeah, setting them gender roles early. Yep. Woo! At the theme park, no less. Thumbelina, dear, I would like you to meet Mr. Digger. Mr. Digger, no comment. Yes, my dear. There is nothing to fear from an old gentleman like myself. I fear you more and more with every line. Many interesting things to show you. Cool, damp, dark alley. Yep, that's a good place to stay. Ain't nothing happening in there, no siree. This dead blob doesn't feel weirdly out of place or ominous at all. That chandelier. It came from an old chateau in France. How did this mole get so many international treasures? Like, really? Yeah. How? How? He's a mole, for God's sake. How do, you, how do you go around the world as a mole? There's oceans dividing continents. How do you just travel across the water like that? Across the water. <laughs> but my possessions and all my money have not brought me happiness. Ah, yes, we all live lives where we assume material possessions and money make us happy. I do. Oh, okay, cool. A pretty thing like you, Lonesome. How could that be? Thumbelina, will you marry me and live here with me? Well, he is your best option. Marry him, collect the inheritance, move on with your life. That's like a two-year investment. That's yeah, easy. That's easy, but don't you think that's a bit too sudden, Thumbelina and our Mr. Mole? No. No? Okay, cool. He's yeah, gonna I mean, they die. just met like 36 hours ago. But yeah, whatever. but that's like 12% of her whole life at this point. You're right, you know. That makes a lot of sense. All right, yeah, okay. I think it would be the best thing for you, my child. That way, I will know you will be taken care of forever. Forever, forever and, and ever, ever and ever. I thought love and romance were beautiful things, not just a practical affair. They are. But as you get as old as I am, you realize that one has to be practical. So they're not then? If I could just fly away. Like, I want to get away, and I want to fly away, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lenny Kravitz was in this movie, did you know that? <laughs> I do now. <laughs> Perhaps Mr. Bird is not completely frozen. The blanket and Thumbelina's body warmth actually thawed the bird's frozen blood. Love solves all of Plot's problems. Yep. It definitely does. He was so happy flying from tree to tree and bush to bush. He, he wants to fly into your bush if you know what I'm saying. Aloha! <laughs> <laughs> Aloha! Rather than marry, why don't you go away? Don't throw away your life on the mole. Throw away your life with me. It's a good thing they did this recap. Otherwise, I wouldn't have remembered what happened in the 40-minute Thumbelina movie. Awful pile of garbage. Right, so then finally Thumbelina mm. finds her people... Uh, and then she's like, no, nah, I don't want to get married because that's the thing I didn't want to do. But then she just immediately gets married, like, the next scene. You goddamn hypocrite. So vain. Like, she's like, no, wait, this one's hot. I'll you marry him. probably think this movie's about you. I hope not. Because <laughs> I would kill myself if I was responsible for this movie. What did any of this have to do with the ice cream bunny? What? 
What? What did, what? <laughs> what did it have to do with Santa and Christmas? Like, it's all just about Pirate World and it's a dumb fairy tale. What the <laughs> fuck? So after all of the Thumbelina, we finally transitioned back into the movie we started with. Uh, unfortunately. That, the music that comes along with the ice cream bunny is oh. so scary. Oh, like, man. It's so weird. And I don't, I don't get it. Am I having a nightmare? I want to wake up. Please let me wake up. No, pinch yourself, Aaron. Pinch yourself. <laughs> it's not working. No. Where's the gun? Oh, there's that point in the montage where they have to stop the fire truck because the dog clearly was about to be run over. Yeah, and the guy driving it in the ice cream bunny outfit clearly could not see where he was going. He keeps going off the he road. He goes off the road into the grass and like they... Oh my god, it's so dangerous. All those kids are on this truck with You're someone like, that can't see where they're going. What the fuck? You would not get away with that in today's modern age. You could no, not you put 20 kids in the back of a fire truck and then have a blind man drive them down the road. <laughs> where were the contracts that weren't signed? What happened there? Oh. <laughs> oh it's been like three straight minutes following the ice cream bunny, driving his fire truck through the theme park where Thumbelina takes place, over to Santa, and then he pulls Santa, doesn't even pull Santa out of the sand, he just puts him in the ice cream truck and then drives him to the North Pole. What the fuck? You just gonna ditch all those kids there on the beach? That's okay, they'll get back to their normal lives. They were, they were a run away from Santa in the beginning of the movie, right? They can figure it out, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Oh, maybe. I mean, shit, if they knew how to get a horse, to the sleigh and back to wherever the horse came from. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, fever dream was pretty accurate. Yep. And then the best part, the magic at the end. The sleigh just fucking disappears. Why didn't you do that the whole time? If you had the possible chance of just magically moving your sleigh back to wherever the hell it went, why didn't you fucking do it? Why? Why? Why did we sit through this hour and a half mess of bullshit? Because I hate myself. Apparently. I do now, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this movie so much. It's so bad. It's not even a joke anymore. I just genuinely hate this movie this much. It's definitely the worst movie we watched. Oh, this is the worst movie I've ever watched. It's so fucking goddamn bad. Do not watch Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny. Or do and formulate your own opinion on it. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't do it! He's been corrupted by the movie. He wants to spread misery and pain. Hell yeah, it's like I do. Joker's like... one bad day philosophy. <laughs> Hippie is just trying to kill you. <laughs> So that uh, uh, Santa and the Ice Cream Bunny, worst pile of garbage ever. It's incoherent, doesn't make any sense, it's poorly shot, it's garbage. It's garbage, it's garbage. The entire movie is a fever dream. It's so bad. Santa's just having heat exhaustion down in Florida because he's so used to the North Pole. He fucking has this trippy ass dream about i'm assuming he has a trippy ass dream about thumbelina well he's it's telling the be. story of thumbelina he tells the story well it's like saying the ice cream bunny is the fever dream and then thumbelina is the dream within a fever dream oh my god we figured it out <laughs> <sighs> this movie's so bad though and not to mention both movies santa and the ice cream bunny and thumbelina different directors Completely different movies. Completely different movies, and Both they just were put terrible. together so badly. It's awful. I don't get it. What was the whole point? It's like the director just ran out of footage. He was like, okay, I'll just use this other director's footage for no fucking reason at all. It was like, turns out you can't make an hour-long feature film about Santa being stuck in the sand in Florida with just farm animals trying to pull him out. Yeah. Really should have thought about that one before even trying to direct you know what he and make this done? movie. He could have actually put Ice Cream Bunny in the movie. Could have had anything to do with the Ice Cream Bunny. Why is he the Ice Cream Bunny? He drives a fire truck. He didn't even drive an ice cream truck. <laughs> what, was, what was the whole point? The Ice Cream Bunny, by the way. So terrifying. Oh, oh my god. Horrifying. Oh. The most terrifying thing I've ever seen. I think this is like rated higher on the horror level than elves. <laughs> Honestly, like, it was so terrifying. He ate the blank stare. It was scary. It gave me nightmares. 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 
This movie was bad. <laughs> this movie's so bad. <laughs> you guys should give us a like and subscribe to our channel because we sat through this for you. For you, because we love you as content creators and we love you as viewers. I love you as a person and as antelopes. And a donkey and a gorilla and a sheep. <laughs> <laughs>